Some radios are built to impress. They're built to be flashy. Well, this radio was built to command. This is the Japan Radio Company JST-245, JRC's flagship from a time when rigs were designed by engineers, not marketing gimmicks. You'll find no waterfall, no gimmicks, no digital band-aids masking poor design. Just clean transmit audio, and the signal's so pure it puts modern SDRs to shame with their digital band-aids. That's exactly the reason why I bought this. The JST-245 is extremely well built and it transmits exactly what you feed it and receives without folding under the pressure of a crowded band. Every switch and every knob on this radio has a job. There are no just because features, no app connectivity, no startup logo animations. Because this never was a radio for influencers. This was and still is a radio for operators for real operators. JRC wasn't targeting the consumer market. They were building for shipboard HF, embassy circuits, and anyone who actually understood what made a radio good, not flashy, which is where so many radios have lost it today. Third order IMD is exceptionally clean, 36 to 39 dB down, under two-tone test at 150 watts. You run less than that, you run say 50 watts into a clean tetrode amplifier, you'll have the cleanest signal on the band. And not because of software correction or digital pre-distortion trickery, it's clean because the power amplifier stage was designed properly. Period. I've used Flex, I've used Anans, newer Icoms, newer Yasus. They have many features, but they don't sound like this. The 245 is just a real radio. What you put in is what comes out. High dynamic range, front end, excellent rejection, selectable IF filters that do their job if you're running a high gain antenna, beam or phase verticals, something like that. This rig won't fold when the band gets rowdy. Shows you exactly what it's all about. Inside the radio is built like a tank, modular, logical and accessible, high quality components. So if you want to feel like you're doing real radio, not software engineering, the JST245 is the rig you buy. So anyway, We'll do some tuning around, and we'll make some contacts as well. Here we go. Very good. 
Victor Kilo. I better keep going. Think you back, VK Twenty Oscar Ford. Victor Kilo three, uniform Sierra Alpha. VK three USA, get out, Andrew. You five and nine, fifty nine, have it? Uh, g'day mate, also uh, 5 and 9, you have to refresh me on the uh, name, uh, unfortunately I just had a mental blank, over. Yeah, that's okay, yeah, Gerard, it's not Gerard, I'm activating a park in Western Sydney there, Andy, CKFF0558, over. 0558, uh, was that correct? Yeah, that's correct, yeah, Yellow Monday Regional Park, just at the base of the Blue Mountains, over. Yeah, okay there, uh, Gerard, no worries at all, mate. Yeah, well, you're 5 9 plus uh, 20 this way, uh, sounding uh, really, really nice uh, into uh, Melbourne uh, today. And uh, yeah, just on the Japan Radio Company, JST 245, right now on the half wave uh, 80 meter dipole. So, yeah, very, very nice uh, performance tonight there, mate, Arthur. Oh, that's right, yeah, the band is certainly in good shape uh, for the low bands. The high bands weren't, weren't so good, but uh, the low bands are certainly really kind to me, Arthur. Yeah, I think there's been another solo event, uh, unfortunately. It's just uh, completely knocked out the uh, higher bands. Uh, there was a bit of uh, reasonable propagation uh, today on uh, 20, but certainly nothing to be uh, too excited about uh, there. Uh, unfortunately, we're just going to have to wait for uh, these uh, solar events to, um, yeah, just uh, go, by the, uh, go by the wayside. I, I kinda, I'm kind of missing the lull right now. I never thought that I'd say that, uh, but uh, yeah, at least the bands were more stable and you sort of knew <laughs> when things were going to open up versus uh, how things are right now there, mate, over. Yeah, that's right, yeah. 20 metres this afternoon wasn't too bad. Uh, sort of a few contacts in the US. Uh, it was reasonable. So I couldn't get any contact into the US on uh, 15 metres or 12 or 10 metres. So, uh, yeah, those high bands were missing today for me. Yeah, well, um, at least you uh, got some activity, uh, I guess, there, mate. Um, yeah, I turned on, had a listen across uh, 20 metres. Uh, but uh, there was another uh, European contest uh, that was on, unfortunately, and yeah, they just uh, completely took over uh, 20, and it was pretty difficult to uh, find a quiet spot uh, to uh, have a decent uh, QSO with people. So maybe next weekend there, mate, over. Uh, someone who posted on my message to him here. <laughs> That's what it was. Anyway, all right. Thanks much, Andrew, and uh, have a great night, and I'll catch you again soon, huh? Yeah, okay. Yeah, no worries, mate. Well, I'm definitely looking forward to the next uh, QSO, so you've got a beautiful signal down here. I'm sure you'll get plenty more QSOs uh, before the day is uh, done there, mate, over. Yeah, I've got a pack up soon. I've got, uh, so I, I was aiming at 400 in the log, and you're number 400, so that's across the two parts today. I started, uh, started not much after 9 o'clock this morning, have it? Oh, well, you have been busy today, haven't you, Sarah? Uh, so, what sort of antenna do you have up? Uh, it's a ZF6BKW. It's a doublet antenna, uh, 28 metres long, fed with uh, TV ribbon, 300 amp TV ribbon, about 9 metres high on a telescopic pole up. Okay, well, that's perfect uh, for you to run uh, for these sort of uh, conditions there. So, um, no wonder you're so strong uh, down here anyway. Yeah, with the apex uh, at about nine metres, they'll give you a good takeoff angle uh, for um, yeah, short to medium range uh, communication 
there from our half Melbourne, from our Sydney, sorry, and easy to uh, get up and uh, get down as well, obviously. So uh, good stuff there, mate, Albert. Compromise on 80 minutes, but uh, in these conditions, no one notices it. <laughs> Probably about one or two dB down on a dive hop, uh, slightly shorter than a dive hop rating. So there we go. But anyway, got it up nice and high. That's the main thing. Yep, yep. Well, um, no, it's definitely uh, working very nicely uh, down here. So uh, you should be uh, very happy with that, over. Yeah, fantastic. All right, Andrew, thanks so much for calling in. Um, great. Happy number 400 in the log car. Uh, Seven three cheers for now. Yeah, I can't believe that. Uh, bang on 400. So uh, there we go. <laughs> All right, uh, 73s. Yeah, it's rare for me to get 200 in the park in a day, so uh, it's been exceptional today. It's been a long day as well. Thanks, Mark, Andrew. 7-3. Yeah, good luck with, uh, I guess, the next activation there uh, next weekend. Cheers, mate. BK3, USA Clear. Yeah, probably. Oh, I, might, I might get one in the week. Uh, we'll see how we go. 7-3, cheers. Yeah, good luck, mate. Thanks, they do. VK3 USA, VK2 India, Australia, clear. Cheers. Yes, yeah, 73s, uh, VK2 Ohio from VK3 USA. Cheers, mate. Yeah, cheers, mate. Thank you, I did. VK2 India, Australia, clear. Yeah, thanks, Dave. Thank you, mate. VK2 India, Australia, clear. Good evening, Marco. You're 5 and 9, 59. Oh, here he is on 40. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, I thought I'd come here. All right, let's get a bit cheeky and blast him. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Victor Kilo three, United Sugar Alpha. Yeah, thanks there, uh, Gerard. Also, uh, five and nine uh, as well there, uh, mate. <laughs> and uh, yeah, running a bit of uh, running a bit of power here on uh, forty meters because uh, yeah, it's not quite as strong as what it was uh, there on uh, eighty. Uh, but uh, anyway, you're uh, still doing uh, very nicely here on seven one four four as well, there, mate. Over. Yeah, I'm just looking through the log. I'm sure I worked on eighty there. Because you were saying. Uh... Yeah, no worries there, uh, Gerard. You as well there, mate. Yeah, five, uh, five, eight on that last uh, transmission, just nudging the nine uh, this way as well. VK2, India, Oscar, Portable, 73s from VK3 USA. Cheers, mate. Yeah, we'll log this one as well. Cheers, mate. Bye-bye. Good evening again, Peter. You're 5 and 7, 57, 